So now the next application that I want to cover is another consumer product from a completely different category. Um, and then this is a smaller object, which was scanned with something like a white light scanner, a smaller object scanner like these guys over here on the left, I mean, on the right hand side. Um, and it is this uh, toothbrush design. So they wanted to scan and reverse engineer this, this design. And you see here, this is a pretty elaborate design that we have. And then here's the CAD model. Um, so we'll go ahead and just toggle over to Design X. So there is our completed model. Just kind of zoom in. And if we roll back, Let's roll back to the beginning, give it a second, and we'll turn on the mesh. So here is the scan data, and we will all get started on this. This one highlights um, using the patterns and stuff like that. Um, it's a really neat application. So if we go ahead and roll forward, we're going to do a sweep. So you see here on the back side, we did a sweep down the back spine here. And if we do uh, edit the sketch, you'll see that they went ahead and created a profile sketch there. And then you see that they also created a profile sketch in this direction across the top. So they were able to come in here and just draw a sketch that follows all the way down this side here. And then use both of those sketches together to create a sweep. So if we just roll forward and create another sweep and you'll see this is going to be the sweep surface trim um, uh, fill surface workflow here because you're gonna see that a lot here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do trim surface, trim surface to trim these back and do what we've done in the past here where we um, loft between the two. So they went ahead and used the, the 3D sketch method for cutting surfaces like we've seen many, many times here. So if we just roll forward and we just do a loft So this one, and this one they did lofts on either side and then sewed it all together as one surface, then do a fill surface. Now, the, I imagine the reason why that they did that, that is because this is a three segment loft to a one segment. On, in, on occasion, when you do that, these three segments will kind of unevenly map to the other side and create like a, a messy loft that isn't nice and smooth. So that's the reasoning behind here is they went ahead and lofted from here to there um, and there and then did a fill surface in the middle, which essentially accomplishes the same thing in the end um, and then creates a cleaner surface loft. So now as we move forward here, looks like they switched to the other side and we're gonna go ahead and create that um, sweep on the opposite side here. And now we're also going to go ahead and create this on the side. So we did the top, now it looks like they're going to come in and work on the side here and create a extend and then we're going to look go ahead and loft create a surface loft on the side there extend it and trim these together so well actually they trimmed those back just like we did before and then do a loft from one to the other
And then now we'll go ahead and continue fitting down the side, extend the surface. Trim, trim, trim. But you see the approach that's happening here. Just uh, as you look at a part, an elaborate surface model part, and consider how to model it and break it down into its separate components. What they've done is they've worked on the back side, the top side. Now they're working on the left side. And they're basically roughing in all of the surface patches, stitching them together. And then you see here, wrap around the end and then trim everything back and loft it together and sew it. So there we go. Now let's see where they go next. And we'll just give it a second. They went ahead and trimmed everything so far together as one. So if we edit this, you'll see here, they took all those pieces and components that we have so far and trim it all together as one. So I'll just back out of it. And excuse me. So now, let me just roll around. And you see that they got the side in the back, but there's some areas here that we haven't accounted for quite yet. So we'll go ahead and see which one they start on. So we'll go ahead and actually let's edit this and see where it's at. So we trimmed that together and fill it that. This is a really creative way to do this. So I'll go ahead and turn off the mesh. You'll see that what they did is this looks like a constant radius, but then it goes bigger here. And there's probably a few different ways you could go about doing this. But what they did is they did a variable face fillet. And so I toggle that on and I hit edit. You'll see that they were able to take that sharp edge and create a variable face fillet all the way down the side, which is a neat way to do that. Now, if we just keep going, stitch this together. Just give it a second here. And we created a fillet. We created an offset surface. Let's go ahead and go to a mesh fit. So they went ahead and created a mesh fit for, for this. We'll go ahead and turn that off just so you can see here. They created a mesh fit surface for that, which you could have done it with a loft. There's a whole whole host of ways you could do that. But and then trim that together. And you'll notice at the moment that they are focused on one side of it, focusing on one side and and working with it. And you'll see here. We trim that together and fill it this right here. And then we did a full face fillet on the back side now to go all the way down this side. So if we just double click on that, you'll see full face fillet all the way around there go ahead and sew that trim extend together and then it looks like they did a split face here let's just turn this off deleted that and they're going to come in and do a lofted surface between this 
So the idea here is this wasn't, it really didn't fit into the category of a nice constant radius fillet. So what they did is they went ahead and trimmed it back uneven on each side and did lofted surfaces between it to account for that because it's really not a constant radius there. And then go ahead and do a fill surface there. Let's give it a second to calculate there. So now they're going to begin these ribs here. So they're creating those ribs. on the scan data and patterning them. So we'll just, and then they, they're going to create them from the other direction too. And then trim everything together. So you see here what we were able to do is, one thing that they did is they did a offset surface of zero because an offset zero surface will kind of just copy a surface. And then they used that for the side and then they did the top, um, they did the top surfaces offset up to trim this all together. So I like the way they did that. That's really cool. And then they go ahead and we're just gonna trim, trim, trim. Now you see that we've trimmed that in with the rest here. And on the back side, you'll see that there was a little piece here that they're going to go ahead and fit those guys together, trim them. fit the top surfaces. And then now they're gonna get started on, so we'll just hide the meshes real quick, the surfaces. They're gonna get started on this, which this probably took the longest is designing all these ribs that aren't an even consistent pattern. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn the surfaces on and you'll see the way that the way they did this is they they designed some of them trim them together design some of them trim them together and I'll just hide some stuff so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here What they're doing here is sweeping, sweeping that shape from the side. So they created a curve that's along the edge of the rib and then a profile from that. And they're gonna do this multiple times and then pattern wherever they can. So you see now they're working their way down here. Creating these. And then they're gonna use a linear pattern there to fill in and duplicate some of the ones that are very close to being the same. So they'll do that again here where they're going to sweep Linear pattern, linear, linear pattern, and just go down all the way down this to create all these ribs. This had to have taken a, a bit to do because these are so organic and they're different. So then they trimmed those all together as well.
and I'll just skip forward to these because this had to have taken them a while to create. Just just for this rib, when you grab your toothbrush, you're going to think about how long it took to create the geometry this time, right? Or maybe you won't. Maybe you won't think about it. Maybe you'll just brush your teeth and not care. But here we go. Created all of those guys. And then we'll just let it finish loading up here. And we'll turn that on. So now they went ahead and trimmed it all together and put fillets on it. Roll forward. That's a beautiful piece of sorting through and creating that. It must have been a lot of fun <laughs> uh, modeling all that. the trim so it trimmed it all together the model and we'll roll forward to the big payoff here where we're gonna mirror it all together And that was, oh, yeah, the final was the sketch for the bristles here. That's all. So there we go. That was impressive. This whole piece right here, how they went about uh, sweeping all of those around and patterning whatever they could pattern to create that geometry. It's going to give us more respect for these organic designs that people create. 